344 Martian days, or souls, have passed since Spirit's mission boldly began. The whole world was watching as it entered the atmosphere at over 19,500 kilometers per hour before impacting into Mars' expansive red desert. During those first souls, the lonely rover faced mission-threatening software and hardware issues, but it defiantly ventured way past its 90-soul life expectancy to share thousands of images of Mars, as well as evidence for the existence of water on the red planet. This is a journey as full of scientific discovery as it is of adversity, one whose legacy continues to inspire us to this day, 20 years after it landed. We rejoined Spirit on the week of its first anniversary of landing on Mars. To celebrate, it is studying a rock named Champagne on the slopes of Husband Hill. Yes, even robots need to party. And as a robot, it enjoys its champagne in the most socially unacceptable way possible, alone and with full use of its science payload. To recap, this contains the rock abrasion tool, RAT, which exposes the fresh surface of a rock of interest. The microscopic imager, MI, which is able to capture fine details of a rock structure to learn about its composition. The alpha particle X-ray photometer, APXS, used to measure the elemental makeup of a sample. And the Moosebauer spectrometer, MB, which is used to analyze mineralogy or the chemical makeup of the rock. After these measurements, however, the spirit team confirmed the existence of a minor short circuit of 0.1V. This short wouldn't affect the day-to-day -day operations of the rover, but it would make Spirit more vulnerable to subsequent damage. Otherwise, Spirit was doing well, and the team continued to traverse up the soft, dusty slopes in increasingly complex maneuvers to ensure that our rover didn't become trapped, a traverse complicated by increased dust in the atmosphere, reducing the sunlight reaching Spirit's solar panels. Some of that dust had settled as a coating layer on the panels which meant that Spirit's team needed to be extremely careful with how they planned their route and power consumption. Nevertheless, on route to Larry's Lookout, a point on Cumberland Ridge, Spirit analyzed two small rocks of interest, Peace and Alligator, before imaging a far larger rock much further away, but one the rover could never hope to reach, Phobos, Mars' largest moon, a 26km wide satellite that is due to impact Mars' surface in 10 million years. With its imaging tasks completed, Spirit ventured forth across Cumberland Ridge, but only briefly, before it made an unplanned stop. NASA's engineers noticed that Spirit had curiously churned up an intriguing area of soil during its maneuvers named Paso Robles. But what was it about this area of soil that captured NASA's interest? Paso Robles was found to contain incredible levels of salt and high levels of phosphorus. We're still trying to work out what this means, but clearly, with this much salt around, water had a hand here. A stunning and fortuitous find about the history of water on Mars. One that preceded another unexpected discovery through failure that we'll reveal later. To complete its journey to Larry's lookout, Spirit deftly reversed large sections. This maneuver helped to relieve pressure on the failing front wheel. Instead of moving forward and pushing the struggling wheel into the ground, Reversing the rover up the slopes dragged the wheel across the surface, saving Spirit energy. From Larry's lookout, Spirit took this panorama on Sol 413. To the right, we can see Spirit's tracks. To the left is a rocky outcrop, which is part of the Cumberland Ridge. Beyond that lies the Tennessee Valley. This image was made with 108 frames, each composed of five images taken through Spirit's different filters, which creates an approximate true color image. In the center of the image, 200M away and 45M higher in elevation, is the summit of Husband Hill, Spirit's next destination. This was to be a difficult and energy-consuming journey, but Spirit had a chance encounter that greatly improved its prospects. Mars' dust devils on Sol 421 swept over the rover, clearing a year's worth of dust buildup and increasing its solar panel efficiency from 60% to 93%. Over the next 160 souls, Spirit tackled its way to the top. The increase in energy supply meant that Spirit was able to upload its data every soul with the Odyssey Orbiter, allowing the team to capture lots of information on route, including on samples Paso Robles 2, Big Claude, Paso Dark, Methuselah, Keystone, Pittsburgh, Independence, and Franklin, without filling up its limited storage. 
By Soul 482, Spirit was perched on the summit of Husband Hill, a monumental achievement after months of persistent struggle. The rover had faced a harsh and relentless environment, but it had prevailed. From this vantage point, Spirit could see much farther than it had before, with an expansive view of the surrounding terrain. But this summit was not just about the view. It was about what Spirit had discovered. The scientific team had spent several souls analyzing the outcrop here, finding clues that Mars had been shaped by water long before the red planet became the arid world we know today. Spirit had successfully navigated to the summit, taking panoramic images of its surroundings. And those images would become some of the most important for understanding Mars' past. What appeared to be just a dusty, barren landscape at first glance was actually a rich field of evidence that could tell scientists about Mars' ancient climate, geology, and potential for life. Spirit's findings would later lead to a profound understanding of Mars' history, revealing that it had once been a much wetter and more hospitable place than anyone had imagined. At this point, Spirit's team also discovered an even more significant clue, a rock named Upham. This rock was special because its composition suggested that it had been altered by water in the distant past. Water, once liquid, had come into contact with these rocks and left behind evidence in the form of minerals that could only form in wet environments. This discovery was a turning point in the mission as it provided a clear signal that Mars had the necessary conditions for life at some point in its history. Spirit's next phase was spent collecting as much data as possible from the surrounding terrain, studying the chemical makeup of various rocks, and taking more detailed images. It analyzed another rock, Haskin, which showed signs of chemical alteration by water. These findings helped to confirm the hypothesis that Mars was once home to rivers, lakes, and possibly oceans conditions that could have supported microbial life. By Sol 550, Spirit was still going strong, but the rover faced a new challenge. The front right wall had begun to exhibit signs of severe wear and tear. The team had anticipated this problem, but hoped to get as much mileage out of Spirit as possible before it would be forced to retire. The rovers will continue to show increasing signs of damage, but Spirit pushed on, making every effort to gather as much data as it could. Despite the deteriorating wheel, Spirit continued to surprise the mission team with its endurance. By Sol 588, Spirit had exceeded its expected lifetime by more than five times, and it had become one of the most successful robotic missions to Mars. However, even with all its success, the team knew that Spirit's days were numbered. The rover's power supply, due to the continued buildup of dust on its solar panels, was growing weaker. Spirit had made a remarkable contribution to science, but its mission was nearing its end. In the final months of its mission, Spirit made one last major discovery. In Sol 707, Spirit encountered a rock formation that seemed to stand out among all the others. This rock, called Tennessee, appeared to have been deposited by an ancient flow of water. The mineral composition and texture of the rock indicated that it had been shaped by the forces of erosion a process typically driven by running water. At this point, Spirit's communication with Earth began to become less reliable. The rover's memory was full, and it was struggling to manage its power reserves. Despite these difficulties, Spirit's team was determined to keep the rover operating for as long as possible, hoping to collect just a bit more data from Mars. Spirit's final moments were spent in a quiet farewell to the planet it had studied for so long. The rover's last transmission was received on May 25, 2011, after it had become stuck in a patch of soft soil. Despite the best efforts to free Spirit, it had become immobile, and the team ultimately made the decision to end the mission. Spirit's legacy, however, would live on, as it had made contributions to our understanding of Mars that would shape the future of space exploration. Spirit's mission had far exceeded expectations and its discoveries about Mars' past water activity, its potential for life, and its geological history have had a lasting impact on the scientific community. Though it is no longer operational, Spirit's journey continues to inspire future missions to the Red Planet, including the upcoming Mars Sample Return Mission and the Perseverance Rover, which is continuing Spirit's work and pushing the boundaries of exploration even further. To this day, Spirit remains one of the most iconic rovers in the history of space exploration. Its tenacity, resilience, 
and groundbreaking discoveries make it a true symbol of the spirit of exploration that drives humanity to reach for the stars. And while spirit may no longer be operational, its legacy will continue to guide us as we search for life on Mars and explore the mysteries of the universe.